Obviously, tough loss. Credit to Bowling Green. Uh, I think they got bowl eligible with this one, so they get credit to them. A good program, uh, doing it the right way. Scott's doing a great job with those guys. Uh, they did a great job coaching today. Got their guys ready to roll, and uh, credit to them. Obviously, we got to play better. A lot of young guys play today, and uh, you saw that in the first half of this football game, uh, at linebacker especially. And uh, we've got to learn from it. We got to grow uh, on defense for sure. And then offense, I thought we took steps in the right direction, but we got to protect the ball. Uh, and do things just a little bit better than what we were doing today. But uh, proud of our team's fight. I, I tell you that much. They fought till the end, which was good. But we got to execute till the end as well, and we didn't do that. So open up for questions. Questions. Yeah, coach. Looking at the tackles for Nick and Bryce, seven of assisted each. Can you kind of talk about from a coach's perspective their performance on the field and kind of their uh, progress leading into this game of the week? Yeah, you know, and Nick Jack Long, you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, he did a he did a good job. You know, Nick stepped in there. We've, like I said, we got four backers down right now, uh, so we had to step into the starting role. And uh, he's got the most experience out that group. And I thought he came in and played well, and he led well. You know, next to him he had two two walk ons and one walk on freshman playing, uh, and he did a good job leading him and making sure the moment didn't get too big. So proud of Nick and proud of his performance. And uh, Bryce Shepard does what Bryce Shepard does. I mean, that's what, he's been a, a machine all year long, and I thought he played well today. Uh, you know, he could have done some things better in the special teams unit, but. Did well at safety for sure. Uh, could you talk a little bit about the struggles and stopping the run game after the team gave up 190 rushing yards? Yeah, you know what? I think it came back to just misfitting some things. You know, we had a couple, like I said, young linebackers playing. Uh, you could tell they knew that. <laughs> they did some things schematically to take advantage of them to get their eyes in, in bad spots that they got to learn from and grow. And I thought at halftime, the coaches did a really good job of calming them down a little bit drawing on what they were seeing and getting them to relax and just play football. And I thought Saeed especially, you know, he's a true freshman walk on. I thought he did a great job in the second half of just calming down, not letting the moment get too big for him. But uh, we got some challenges, and we got guys that got to just grow and, and learn. And uh, it's part of the process. And, uh, you know, we got, like I said, new faces in there, and those new faces this was their first game. And uh, I thought they, they did better as the game went on, but obviously not the result we wanted. Starter. He's been looking great. Is this the plan going forward? Uh, it is. It is. Tommy's won the job, and uh, Tommy's done a great job with it. And uh, I thought he's grown and got better. And when Mike gets back, Mike will, will have a role as well. Uh, and Mike's been, been a great leader, not playing right now. But I think Tommy's done a really good job of, of growing. And I'm proud of Tommy. And uh, Tommy's going, you know, Tommy had a, you know, an emotional 24 hours. Uh, and I tell you what, I'm sorry to get a little emotional. His fight today. Um, and I don't know if I can tell you, he lost someone in his family and, uh, last night, and it was a very long night for Tommy. And to see him lead and fight and battle the way he did today, that, that was impressive. That was really impressive, and that speaks to his character uh, and who he is as a person. Bowling Green didn't have their bell cow running back tonight, yep. so they used a variety of options in different formations in the backfield. They either tied in a lot. How do you think that challenge should be? I thought it challenged our defense a lot. I thought we were prepared for him playing, uh, obviously. Uh, but again, I thought Scott did a really good job of, ma of, of kind of masking some things, you know, pulling some guards and tackles and getting our backers' eyes in the wrong spot and then throwing it over their head. They threw a screen. You know, they had three or four explosive plays just off that. And again, our linebackers will grow and get better. Uh, but, uh, you know, obviously they did some really good stuff with the run game with the guys they had in. How would you assess Trell Harris's performance tonight? It seemed like he bounced back in the second half yep. after a little bit of a rough first half to fumble on the drop. Yeah, again, another guy who hadn't played in a while who got out there and, and kind of filled in for Krishan and had some struggles early on, but challenged him at halftime, and I thought he responded the right way. And for him, I, he just can't look back anymore. You know, now you, you've had your little wolves, now you came back, you responded, I'll build off that over the next two games. Bowling Green ran a big punt late in the second quarter. What do you think went wrong on that play? <laughs> It, uh, basically, it was almost like a read. So we were in a return type mode, and the guys released. And then the punter, I, I don't know if it was staged, but he kind of read it, and then he took off. Uh, that's really hard to defend, and that's a really good scheme against what we do. Uh, so we got to learn from it, get better at it. And uh, you know, in that situation, I could have helped us out maybe going safe punt, which now puts some different keys in our, in our mindset. But uh, I'll take that one. That's on me. You know, and that, that 40 to 40, I'm typically a safe guy anyway. Uh, but there, I just thought, you know, how about setting the return and trying to flip the field? You know, so probably got a little bit too greedy there, and that's a credit to them. How would you assess, Coach, the way your team responded in that second half sequence where you kind of forced them down near the goal line, forced the bad punt in your offense, and came back and punched them? Yeah, I thought we responded. You know, I thought we responded. We had some fight in us. You know, I think it still comes down to execution. Uh, we, we still didn't execute at a high enough level to win the game, you know, but I thought we showed fight and, and grit. And, you know, we're still getting better. We're still learning our, who we are as a football team. And, again, a lot of young guys playing. But, 
a lot of new guys playing. And that was their first game and their first experience in that role they were in. And they'll learn and they'll get better. Coach, what are you guys going to focus on these last two weeks to help you figure out who you are as a team? Uh, just growing, responding and growing. You know, we're going to take every challenge we have and just find a way to grow and respond in a positive way and uh, get creative as coaches and find a way to put these guys in the best situations and uh, just keep getting better. That's all we can do. Uh, there, there's no magic sauce uh, to making this thing up. You know, we are in year one, and year one is about learning and growing. And you look over the all the head coaches in the MAC who started off year one, a lot of them had the same type of struggles we had, uh, and it, a couple years later turned into success. And that's the plan here. I've done this long enough. I know the recipe, and I know how to do it, and I know that we're moving in the right direction. And, you know, I call the timeouts at the end of the game to make sure we finished and we fought and we played to the last second of the game. And that's what year one is about. It's about teaching them how to win and how to be really competitors, more, more so than even winning, just how to compete at a really, really high level. And uh, we're, we're learning how to do that, and we're doing it better and better each week. Uh, you know, but today, again, I think the new faces and this new starting kind of kind of us, held us up a little bit just with the execution side of it. Yeah, 18 targets for Luke tonight, Coach. Can you kind of harp on what you know about the relationship between him and Tommy? On and on? Yeah. You know, one thing I said on with Tommy, he said, you know, who are you comfortable with throwing the ball to? And uh, he, he said Luke and Trill. <laughs> and he, he said, those guys I've, I've worked with all summer. I'd love to, you know, get them as matchups where I can feel comfortable with the timing with them. So we did some stuff creatively to get Luke involved with, with Krishan down. And, uh it worked. You know, we got Luke some touches early on in the game and got him flowing. And then we moved him around different spots, you know, to create matchup things for Tommy. And I thought Luke did a good, did a good job, had a really good game. And he was, he was another guy challenged this week to step in for Krishan and, and play at a high level. And I think he, he's, his development and growth has been really good. Season, as the season's gone on, Coach, you kind of moved towards Jalen Thomas having the bulk of the carries. I know you're a running backs coach guy, and you, you Put a lot of pressure on that position. What did you like from him this year? You know, I just like the way he runs behind his pads. He runs behind his pads. He fights for extra yards. He has a good feel for the inside zone, outside zone stuff. Uh, he's, he's durable. He doesn't get hurt very often, and he stays on the field, which is which is really good. And then it doesn't have to be blocked perfectly for him. I always think you have a special back when, you know, you can have a guy in the backfield and he still finds a way to, to find three or four yards. And if you study Jalen, he, he very rarely has negative runs. And I, being a former running back coach, that is a very big thing. Uh, and keeping you on schedule as you, you want four yards to play. He, he does that pretty well. And, uh, you know, he, he probably doesn't always have the explosive side of it, but at running back, in my opinion, you got to be a game manager and, and make sure you limit the negative runs, keep us on schedule with four yards to carry or three to four yards to carry and find ways to, to make sure uh, the offensive playbook is completely open. And he does a good job with that. You seem to add your tight ends a little bit more to your offense. Hayden and Justin got involved a little bit in the passing game. What do you think for some of the reasons uh, you know, I think Krishan going down, again, it's now the full playbook, in my opinion, uh, getting guys involved. And, and then just schematically, they, they, we, we created some run pass kind of conflict for their linebackers. And we, we got the tight end up the middle a couple times off of some stuff we did last week uh, and, and created confusion for them. So it was good to get, get Holmesy and Junk going a little bit today. And uh, hopefully they can build off that. Any other questions here for Coach? All right, Coach, thank you for a moment of your time. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate the coverage. Go Flash. Congrats.